Solar Imaging with the ZWO Seastar S50, 169 second guide by All Star Telescope. You'll need your Seastar and the included solar filter. For demonstration purposes, we'll also be using the All Star Telescope Core Tripod Leveler and Dew Shield Solar Finder. Before we start, do not attempt to photograph the sun without a solar filter. Doing so can cause irreparable damage to your Seastar sensor. Let's begin. Assemble and connect to the Seastar via the ZWO Seastar app. If the Seastar isn't level, the app will prompt you with a digital level to even out the device before proceeding to any observing. Leveling out the telescope can be done by moving the Seastar to level ground or adjusting the length of each leg of the tripod, but today we'll use the tripod leveler. As shown, the app may also prompt you to perform some rotations on the Seastar to calibrate the device's internal compass. You are now ready to track the sun. Tap on the solar button on the main screen of the app. Use the up and down arrows to move the Seastar from a closed position to an open one. Place the solar filter on the Seastar. Once installed, tap installed and shooting. The Seastar will then go to the sun. If the Sea Star struggles to find the sun, you can use the virtual joystick, the small circle in the bottom corner, to manually slew to the sun. Finding the sun in this manner can be difficult, so using a solar finder like the All Star Dew Shield Solar Finder can make this more convenient. The solar finder is placed right in front of the lens and the solar filter slotted in. Once the light of the sun lines up with the notch of the finder, the sun will be in view. With the sun in view, let's go over a few functions on the screen. Tracking correction to reorient towards the sun if it's drifting off the screen. Object centering can be toggled on or off to keep the sun in the center of view. File type. In solar mode, the raw file type can only be toggled when recording video. When raw is toggled off, photos and videos will be taken as pre-processed, ready to view images sent right to your tablet or smartphone. In JPEG and MP4 files respectively, these images can be immediately sent to others, posted social media, etc. When raw is on, an AVI file is saved to the internal memory of the Seastar itself. You will need to connect the Seastar to a computer to extract these raw AVI files. These files are meant to be edited in Astro Imaging Editing Software. Exposure. Tapping this option will open up the slider to adjust how bright the image should be. If the image is too bright, lowering the exposure can show more detail of the sun's surface. Autofocus. Use this to refocus on the sun if it appears blurry. That's it for this guide. For more information, products, and guides, visit allstartelescope.com.